Okay, got my razor here. Let's try, let's try and see what happens. And if this works, they have a razor scraper and it's almost the same as a razor blade. And you can get it like four inches, six inches. I think you can even get a 10 inch for a long handled one. Uh, but uh, like a hand one, maybe this is uh, four to six inches and then you can hold it here and here, you know. And then they also have one that's just a little bit smaller, but I'm gonna just see how this does. You see, once you get it to there, you might be able to scrape off a lot of the top surface, which it looks like it's doing. It's hard to get all that when it's dry, okay? But that could work too. If you had a razor scraper, do a section first, let's say, like that. Then put your cleaner on, okay? Because that, that could work. Okay, so back at it here. I always flip this around to try to find the, the uh, sharpest area. And sometimes it's sharp that way, and then after a while it's sharp this way. Then after a while it's sharp that way. You just kind of have to, to check it out. Okay, so now that's taken out a lot more. And now maybe my my wire brush will take up the rest. I'm gonna spray that just a hair. At that point, I may have to, to spray a little bit more of this on, let it sit a while longer. You know, I'm just trying to get a mental picture of what all it's going to take to get this floor in a condition to stain it. And how much effort do I want to put into it? a little better now. It's amazing how much this stuff sticks to the floor. Right? But see, even without any stain on the subfloor concrete here, can you see that if that was clear and clean, you're gonna already pick up some dark on the floor so I don't have to clean this all the way to brand new concrete, even if I have a slight layer of imperfection on it. As long as the floor is all the same, it's gonna pick up those blemishes. So if I had, if I had the area just like that, and all the floor was the same. Oh, that would look nice, stained. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this one over here. Now, see this one. This one seems to be cleaning up a little bit easier with this cleaner. Now that it's sat on there for a while. See how it's, it seems like it's, it's cleaning a lot easier. This is penetrating a little bit better than that, than that orange cleaner. Look at that. I'm quite happy with that. 
Okay, now, now I can still take my wire brush to it. See if I can't get some of that still off of there or smooched in, smudged in. See that? Quite liking that. I think this is the ticket. Um, and with it, with it having a little bit of darkness in it, that's like already applying one coat of darker stain. You know what I mean? So you can do one coat of the lighter stain, and you're gonna use it with a with a Hudson sprayer, and you're not gonna coat the entire surface. That's why you use a Hudson sprayer. It's like variegating little teeny incy beatsy little droplets of stain and it's not going to cover the entire surface. It's not like putting it on with a sponge or rag and going over the entire surface, okay? It's like little fine, like a mist, like a fog. And then if you want a little bit more, you come back and you, and you do a little bit more fog. You want to add a little bit more later, you, you can do it a little bit more. Once you, once you touch it with a rag or a sponge, it's not going to blend in with everything else, is it? Then you're going to have to think, okay, oh shoot, I just messed up. Do I have to sponge out this entire room, close the door because it's a closet, do the hallway differently, or what have you? Okay, different things you got to know when you get ready to stain a floor. And the thing I like about this, yes, it's going to take me a while to get to that point, I think. But I think this is the, this is the one I'm going to decide to use. And this is going to look so much nicer than floating out this whole floor with that underlayment material that I was telling you about earlier. Because this is going to pick up so much color. This was called 680 Energy Plus. And it's a concentrate. And I just put a little bit in that bottle and the rest of it water. Okay. So now I know that's going to work how to tackle this little next area. And I think what I'm going to do for my next test is I'm going to just concentrate on these tiles here in the back. I'm going to use my small little scraper. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go back to the store and get uh, 10 scraper blades with a little handheld scraper. And I think that'll make my project go quicker. But first off, I'm going to try this again and get my psyche up. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.